Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part six of Phoenix Friday's Attorney. In case you don't know, this is my first time playing because I obviously put it in the title. Mr. Right, you are amazing in there. R really? She's so cute, actually. I think I might be your new, 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 I may be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Uh, that face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Mm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial lead that man with miss may he's the key oh i get it what happened to miss may after that anyway oh she mad about that i guess they arrested her i heard they arrested her i guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere she's probably at the detention center right now i may have to go down there later anyway this case is far from closed yes sir I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. Total faith. Total faith. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack and then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in the detention center, so it's up to me to set her free. To be continued because I had to cut off the recording after the after the freaking aftermath. Because of course, yes, I would like to save my progress up to this point. Literally, like, literally nothing happened in the third save file. So, yeah. Day two investigation. Here we go. Detention center visitors room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in a dank place like this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. How come, how come you, t wait, have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Have you done enough questions? Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, uh, you're scaring the security guard. He, he's just standing there, but he's clearly visibly scared. You can see it on his face. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get, be, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Well, I guess there's really nothing more to examine, I guess. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. He's a real pro, this guy. Or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Maybe the guy. And smile for the camera. Okay. Barely anything. Okay. All right. What about uh, your attitude? I like your attitude. Why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom him, scum sucking lawyer! Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Why did you place a wiretap on Maya's phone? Or Mia's phone? I keep I keep saying that. Oh my god. Aw, when you sound it when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um 
Tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is, this woman is, yes, this women, uh, all women. No, not all women. I, I should probably shut up. Uh, this woman, <laughs> sorry. This woman is impossible to talk to. Oh my God. That was so bad. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Okay. Uh, no. Please. Okay. Present. I mean, we already showed her the wiretap, though. Uh, what about the testimony? Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost. Because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Uh... Do I do I even need to do anything more at this point, or probably not? Um, what about the wiretap? Hey, guess what? I really hate your guts, so I'm not cooperating. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Four points then? No. Yeah, no, that's, that's probably, yeah. I guess we can, I guess we can try to go to, uh... Yeah, let's... Well, let, let me check all the other places first before we go back to the places. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go next, okay. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Yeah. Let's keep looking. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I have to water it now. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Yep. Um, The painting, an old movie poster... Made me a cry out to check it out one of these days, yeah. Yes, that's perfectly clean as always. The only problem is in the, the, the. And the books. You can't cram more legal books than you have to. All the cases the chief worked on are filed here. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess there's really nothing else to do here, I suppose. What about the uh, law offices, then? Huh. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Oh, the painting's gone. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Yeah, the painting's gone. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on the wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... I think it was... I think it was a fisherman, I think. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. What about Marvin Grossberg, then? Then, how about uh, Sunflowers? No. Nothing. Expensive potted plant. Most expensive one available. A table for clients. An ebony case, if I'm mistaken. The lightest room was all glowing. It's starting to... Be uh, solid mahogany desk. And expensive looking mahogany. Mm, funny, they don't like they've ever been read. So clearly something is going on here. And how about the hotel then? Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. 
We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Huh? Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't char been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous! The bellboy who bought the murderer iced coffee! Why do I feel like we're both stuck in some in the same bad dream? So, you're our honored get guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Okay. Then, how about Miss May, then? About Miss, about Miss May. Oh, her? Huh? Sir, not the boast, but the, but the moment I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think... The, I, I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. What about the man with May, though? Because it could possibly be the bellboy that did it or someone completely different. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Cycle Bellboy. If you had a photo of the man, I'm sure I could quite I I could identify him. Photo, hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we could add a subtitle. Subtitle? Gatewater Hotel Murder Manor! Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great! Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> wow. This dude. What about examining? I'm pretty sure everything is going to be remaining the same. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. They're part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous to talk in the hotel industry. Nice weather again today. You can see the Fay Co. Law Offices, of course. Ah, yes. We plan to install a telescope bit on that window, of course. Just $5 will earn you three minutes of, of a view to a kill. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> By the look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Yeah, definitely. What is it with this bellboy? Like, odd. Still seen painting. Would that be still life? Whatever. One of these is hanging on the wall. A vase as expected. I'm not going to flower names, but maybe tulips and sunflowers. And uh, here is the... Uh, there's a screw. There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror! A hiding place of the murderous wiretap! It's said to become the most popular one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Man. Dude, my man's just want to be... My man's the bellboy just wants to be famous. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching there. Oh, man. Let's see. Do we present him with anything? What about the maid testimony then? I'm sorry. All I could think, all I could think about would, all I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Like this is the exact wiretap. Wasn't paying much attention. And yeah, I'm pretty sure like all of these are just like yeah. He he doesn't really think he doesn't really think this one. Not a thinker, if you will. Well, I suppose there's nothing else we could do. Everything's been examined. I presented everything, so... Yeah. Might as well go back. To the detention center. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. Yes, it is precisely your fault. You don't just have spiky hair. You have. My you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Damn, dude. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. 
Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Damn it. Hmm. Maybe if I could get some... If I had something to get her to talk. Hmm. I suppose, yeah, we could just present literally every single piece of evidence until she, until she's like, yeah. Hey, guess what? I actually hate your guts. I'm not cooperating. Hey, guess what? I'm da da da. Hey, guess what? Yeah. Hey, guess what? I actually hate your guts. I'm not talking. Yeah, this is, this is basically what I figured. Like, Jesus, dude. Even I present my attorney's badge and it doesn't really work. Okay, then. Fine. What about the Gatewater Hotel, then? Can I... Could I actually legitimately uh, find something... Find something about this, then? Because I think I already checked everything that I possibly could here. Yeah, I did. And I talked to him about pretty much every topic I could. Presented him with everything that I could. And I went over here to, to check everything that I could. And I can't really talk to anybody because there's nobody here. And, and also... And also, like, I can't present anybody in here because nobody, nobody is even here. Yeah, really the only thing... Oh! Hello. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Alright. There's one, and here's the other guy. Look at this guy. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the other one I took? Yeah. Because we're looking for a guy, I think. So I can't really take one photo with the other, yeah. All right, let's see if this works. Have a look at this. Look, I said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you... Aha! Reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. It's This is the man who stayed in your hotel room on the night of the murder. No! No! That's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have any proof that was him? Hmm? Oh, yeah! Proof! Show me proof! I'm so close! Well, I don't even know! I don't even know if I, like, freaking... Dude. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I already, I already presented him with that. And I already talked to her about that. So I guess, really, I guess I can show the bellboy this photo. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Aha. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. Without a doubt, this is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that, that that's him? An affidavit. This guy's way too excited about this. Well, sure. Why not? Yes! I always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the... 
Just hurry up and write it. Bellboy is dead. Let's add it to the court record. Describe some man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Aha! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Boy! Could you have a look at this? What's that? This Bellboy is... It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who is who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. No. We steady on. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb! If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh! Fine! I'll talk! You... you win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive! Why are you pumping your fist in the air? Ahem. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call that a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man you were with on the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Oh. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Core is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bell boys of discarded. All right, we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere good. Ah, no. Let 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 me let me uh go to the thing so I can talk to this dude. Aha, the painting. CEO's office. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name! What's your name? I was I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. <laughs> Look at this guy. Splendiferous! Perhaps I've intimidated you with my giant vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. I legitimately did not know that's what CEO stood for. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I have not used to conversely with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake! Why? Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes! This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Oh, dude. Bro, we are gonna get somewhere tonight. No. Every time I think I want to say, I, I want to keep going because, like, I want to see what this dude's all about. I can't just simply stop there. All right, so let's examine everything. 
haven't I seen this somewhere before? Is it a replica? Oh, those choices were like, uh, uh. I was gonna say Harrison Ford. Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original. Worth five million for sure. Hmm. What about the trophies? Press up lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up. Best participation. Judges Corporation Award. Special good try prize. Hmm, the words judges and special kind of stand out. A statue of a man holding up the world. The blue core sign certainly stands out enough. The model for this man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too beautious for you to appreciate, correct? I think that's a little, that's a little beautious for just about anyone to appreciate. Pro uh, ah, probably I just had lunch. Ooh. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My, my, that's quite the thing. It's modeled up on my body, see? Well, does it sleek rounditure not inspire you? It inspires me to have a regular gamer desk for life. Um, uh, the window? This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. All right, and that's enough, I suppose. What about Miss May then? Miss May is an employee of Blue Corps, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it is to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in Miss May's, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay any attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. But you're talking to me right now, so you just broke your rule. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. I keep trying to call her Miss May. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The police, the courts. To me, they're all mere toys. Play things for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? Finn keeps trying to get on the door while he's sleeping. Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you're wondering, Blue Core is named after the color blue. I, Red White of the Business Core, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what that might, what that, that, that painting on the wall over there. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being, my point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? You stole it? Mr. Wrong, is it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. With nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just 
Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Uh, he, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? Could very well be. I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Miss Gro Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Why did I call him a miss? Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man who can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. Dude. Okay, for real, I'm saving. Wowee, dude. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. See you guys all next time. Thank you for watching. Whatever.